hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this pattern tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a standing color also known as a band color or a mandarin color so without wasting your time let's get to it so to begin we're going to be needing the following tools my tape measure some pattern paper my basic front and back bodice some pens and my trusted pattern master which i'm going to be using for my curves and my straight lines so these are the measurements i'm going to be using so to begin i'm going to take the measurements from my front and back basic bodice patterns i'll be measuring from the shoulder to center back and shoulder to center front also because my patterns were drafted with half an inch sewing allowance i will minus that from the measurements if yours doesn't, then that's fine. I've already drawn my vertical and horizontal lines, which represent my center back and neckline. The first measurement is 7.5 centimeters, which is the measurement from my shoulder to center back. The next is 12.5 centimeters, which is my shoulder to center front. Next, I'm going to measure the height of the collar, which is three centimeters. You can make yours either higher or lower, that depends on you. Then I'm going to draw a horizontal line all the way to the center front. But before I draw the line, I'm going to mark my shoulder notch, which I should have marked earlier. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a minute to hit the subscribe button down below. You'll be supporting my channel if you do, and thank you in advance. So, depending on the shape you're going for, you can either leave yours as a straight line or you can curve it out. So, I'm going to use my pattern master to curve out my center front. At this point, we have a complete stand collar. However, if we cut this pattern this way, the collar will not fit properly along the neckline. This is because the neckline is a very deep curve and if we leave it like this, the collar will stand out as opposed to standing close to the neckline. So to fix this, we're going to curve the collar. To do this, we would need to cut out the collar pattern first and then shape it. So to shape it, I'm going to take out one to two centimeters from the top collar. To do this, I would divide my collar into three sections. You can also divide it into four sections if you want, and this will depend on how close or snug you want the collar towards your neck. An example of this is the white collar I've been showing you in this video that was divided into four sections. So after doing this, I'm going to draw vertical lines to mark this point. Afterwards, I am going to cut those vertical lines towards the neckline. Now, we're not going to cut it out completely, but just going to cut it out very close to the necklines. This gives the color a bit of flexibility for us to either add or reduce the length. So to reduce the length, I'm going to mark 0.4 millimeters away from the cuts. So now I'm going to overlap the gaps by placing one side on top of the other. Then I'm going to use some sellotapes to secure it, to pin them together. As you can see, this has created a very nice curved color, both at the top and at the bottom. And like I said, the white one was cut into four sections, which has created a really nice curve. So if I was to use a white one, it would sit very close to the neck. So the next step is to draw in our seam allowance. So to do this, I'm going to place the color on fresh pattern paper and then I'm going to outline it. So you can secure yours with some sellotape to stop it from moving around. Once you outline it, then you're going to draw in your one centimeter seam allowance all through. 
So just to remind you, this color is going to be cut on a fold. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this color pattern tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe. You'll be supporting my channel if you do. And this would encourage me to create more videos for you guys. And I just want to say thank you to my new subscribers and my old subscribers.